Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna. So today I have a new project starting here on my channel and this is the Birthstone Beauty Project Pan. Um, this was created by Amanda and Jessica Lee here. It starts on January 1st and goes until December 31st and it is related to your birthstones of course and it's, it is um, a small number of uh, products, uh, let's say 12 items of course. Choose a product for a birthstone for each month. Product can be packaging, color, name, etc. etc. And then of course we have the list uh, for example for January. If you hear something that's my cat kind of be bored and trying to make some noises because she is yeah a little bit upset that I'm not paying attention to her anyway so for example for January uh, you have the Garnet Rose Quartz for February you have the Amethyst or uh, Onyx Hematite etc etc and um, I have in my collection actually most of the birthstone palettes from BH Cosmetics because they released them I think two years three years ago these palettes are even longer and I have most of them so I'm just trying to kind of sort them out so Hold on, November. Uh, I think I have, yeah, February, March, January. Okay, so April, September, no, 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 no. May, May, October. Okay, so I think the only one that I don't have is the uh, June 1 if I'm not mistaken or one more so for example I have the January one January this is a month of Garnet and so this is what the palette looks like not touched yet at all yet this is February so February for example also looks like this not touched there's always a glitter shade here in this corner so um those ones would be used by me on my fingernails you know just to get rid of them march looks i think march i started to use no not yet so not yet but march looks like this for example and then um i would have let's see april super palette you know smoky eyes like that so then may may is a palette I, uh yeah i have already in projects or used in projects as you can see so then june i don't have june so um this is ruby i have used ruby already in projects that would be for the month of july August. I think I have. I don't have June and August, so this would be September Sapphire. Then October Opal, already used. You can see the glitter shade is gone. November for Citrine. I have not used that little guy yet. So and December Turquoise. I used it. You see that the glitter shade is already gone. So. And I have here from Cleonard Cosmetics also the Birthstone Saga palette. I bought this palette, left it for a long, long, long time. And I see some of the uh, eyeshadows in this palette. It looks like a mess. I will not open it up, but uh, I will try to insert a picture maybe. Um, you can see that it's crumbled a lot. It's messed up. So, But I would still love to work on these shadows just to get rid of it. And then just use the palette, let's say like this. So whatever shade i don't have with the birthstone palettes will be replaced by this one or used together so um let's say for me the goal would be use each palette at least 20 times in the month you know so or combine together you know 20 not combined together but let's say if i use two palettes in a month um, you know and then I just count how many times I have used them so if I reach the threshold of 20 for each palette I roll them out I think or I just focus then on this little guy here if I you know if I use what is it reach the goal with the main palettes let's say like this um, I might do it like that I think so but I think for because we are we will be in January right uh, I'm just pre-filming a little bit right now so I might start with Garnet 
and then start also using a little bit of you know the of these shades here and then work my way through it anyway so i hope it was not too confusing because i'm, I'm still how can i say thinking how to do it because it's 12 products you know 12 uh, eyeshadow palettes and um, so i can just only de decide i don't want to hit pan in each of them in that sense you know but still get use on them so i think 20 is a good number um to use even if i you know um how can i say don't have the number every time ready or don't have use uh, usage goal met every month it's still i think workable for me with all the other projects that are still going on on my channel as well as will be starting anyway i hope you enjoyed this little introduction i see you in the next update have a good day Bye bye